WKAR presents Quizbusters. Production of Quizbusters is made possible in part by Consumers Energy, building Michigan's future by supporting excellence in education. Consumers Energy, count on us. By the Michigan Education Association and its 160,000 members, advocating for a world class public education that ensures a bright future for Michigan students and economy. Online at mea.org. And by viewers like you. Now, here's the host of Quizbusters, Matt Ottinger. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Thanks, everyone. And for the 22nd time, welcome to our Grand Championship game. We have champions all here today. We're going to play our game to uh, crown a grand champion, but everybody's winners. Everybody has received the scholarship offers. Playing now for the uh, book scholarships, of course, but let's meet the teams and get in uh, as much game as we possibly can in the next half hour. First, the Royals from Jackson Christian, our white division champions. They are Stephen Bell, Katie Knowlton, Chris Seto, the captain, and Kennedy Wilson. Alternates for Jackson Christian are Matt Dubinsky, Josh Thomas, and Zach Schneider. The advisor is Joanne Knowlton. And our Green Division champions, the Chieftains of Okemos High School. That team is Cody He, Mike Patkey, the captain David Brewster, and Laura Clark. Alternate for Okemos is Martina Fu, and the advisor is Whitney Scholler. Not telling any secrets to say we have something of a David and Goliath match on our hands here. Jackson Christian, 150 students in the high school. Locum is close to 1,400. A little bit of a mismatch, which is why, of course, we keep the uh, white and green division separate until the very end. But we're looking forward to having some fun with these two fine teams. Players, we start with the Quick Ten. You know that. And for the 63rd time this season, the Quick Ten begins with question one. Who wrote the music for Swan Lake? Jackson Christian Kennedy. Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky did. That's exactly right. Question two. What Aesop fable has the moral slow and steady? Jackson Christian. Stefan. Tortoise and the hare. The tortoise and the hare. Slow and steady wins the race. Question three. What is the two-letter postal abbreviation for Mississippi? Okamus Mayak. MS. MS is right. Question four. Who was Bill Clinton's vice president? Okamus David. Al Gore. Al Gore is right. Question five. What four-word phrase is the official motto of the United States. Jackson Christian Kennedy. Uh, pluribus. Out of Sorry, that's the wrong answer. Okamus Mayank. In God we trust. In God we trust is the four-word phrase. That's right. Question six. In what state would you find the Petrified Forest National Jackson Christian Chris? California. I'm sorry, that's the wrong answer. Okamus, uh, in what state would you find the Petrified Forest National Park? Right. New Mexico. It's in Arizona. You guys are all around it there. Question seven. What is the first prime number over 100? Jackson Christian Kennedy. 101. 101. Just as simple as that. Question eight. How many main time zones are there in the world? Okamas Laura. 24. 24 is right. Question nine. Thursday is named for what? Jackson Christian, Chris. Thor. Very well done. Fast on that buzzer. Question 10. What body of water do you cross to get from Dover to Calais? Jackson Christian, Stefan. English Channel. The English Channel is right. That's 10. We didn't get petrified for us. Jackson Christian has the one-point advantage because of that. New toss-up leads to a bonus for one of our teams, our first general toss-up of the game players. Hands on buzzers. The AHAR estimated that 1.5 million Americans were in this condition at some point in 2009, including 600,000 on one night. An Ohio man named Ted Williams who in 2000, Okamas Laura. Homeless. Homeless is the word I'm looking for. Ted Williams is that fellow with the gift of voice. Okamas, bonus to you, first time out. Answer these questions about glycerol, G-L-Y-C-E-R-O-L. -E first, because it can disrupt hydrogen bonding between water molecules, glycerol was once used as what automotive fluid, a role now generally served by ethylene glycol. Antifreeze. 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 Antifreeze is right. As an alcohol, Glycerol includes three hydroxyl groups. What is the chemical formula of a hydroxyl group? OH. OH. OH is right. Glycerol has what property, meaning that it attracts water molecules from its surroundings? Hydrophilic. Hydrophilic. 
No, not hydrophilic. Hygroscopic is the term for that. 20 points on your bonus and you lead. New toss-up players. Archaic names for these events include First Cusp of Aries and First Cusp of Libra. Hipparchus discovered that they precess with a period of about Jackson Christian Kennedy. Equinoxes. Equinoxes is right. A, pre, a period of about 26,000 years. Jackson Christian, first time in the bonus for you. Give the following about the African slave trade. The U.S. fought two early 19th century wars against what pirates of Africa's Mediterranean coast who made heavy use of slave rowers in their galleys? Barbary pirates. Barbary. Answer? The Barbary Pirates. The Barbary Pirates is right. What Indian Ocean Island had the primary slave market run by Arabs? It is now part of the land and name of Tanzania. Zanzibar. Zanzibar. Which one is? Answer, please. Zanzibar. Zanzibar is right. The so called slave coast lay along what bight, B I G H T, that shares its name with a country formerly called Dahomey? Whose capital is Porto Novo? Try Guinea. Guinea. Try it. Answer? Guinea. Not Guinea. Benin. Bite of Benin is what it was called. You got 20 points on your bonus and took that lead right back. First pop quiz. One on one action, of course. Letters in the first half are going to be F I N. Everything begins with the letters F I N. Stefan from Jackson Christian, Cody from Okemos, our first two players. A sum of money paid as a penalty. Cody. Fine. A fine. That's right. Next. The surface coating or texture of Cody. Finish. Finish is right of wood or metal. And finally, a terminal digit of the hand. Stefan. Finger. A finger is right. Ten points there. Katie Jackson Christian, Mayank Okamas. The former province of the Russian Empire which is now an independent Mayank? Finland. With Helsinki as the capital, that's right. Next. Extreme delicacy or subtlety in act Mayank? Finesse. Finesse is the word. Action, performance, skill, or taste. Finally, the last piece or movement of a concert. Oh, Katie. Finale. Finale is the right word, yes. Chris now, Jackson Christian, David Okamas. A small seed-eating bird with a Chris. Finch. A finch is right. Next. Excessively particular or difficult, David. Finicky. Finicky is right. Difficult to please, especially in matters of taste. And finally, the management of public or corporate monetary, David. Finances. Finances. Finance is what I word. Of corporate monetary affairs. Kennedy, Jackson, Christian, Laura, Okamas. Having bounds or limits, and Laura. Finite. And therefore measurable. Yes, that's right. Next. Someone who acts as an informer or who is otherwise a contemptible or thoroughly unattractive person. You usually see rat in front of it. A rat fink, F-I-N-K. Finally for Kennedy and Laura. To arrive at the end of something. Kennedy. Finish. To finish, which we've done. Thank you very much, Kennedy. That's our quiz. Well played, all players. Not surprising at all. We're back to a new toss-up to get to a bonus. Everybody's back in for this. This author wrote about Alexander Petrovitz Goryanchenkov, who is sentenced to live in a Siberian prison in the House of the Dead. He wrote about the murder of two women by Raskolnikov in Okamis Laura. Dostoevsky. Dostoevsky, and an author of Crime and Punishment. That's right. Uh, Okamis, back to you. The fourth movie in this series, subtitled On Stranger Tides, is set to be released in 2011. First name this Disney film franchise, whose first three movies were subtitled The Curse of the Black Pearl, Dead Man's Chest, and At World's End. Pirates of the Caribbean. Right. What Pirates of the Caribbean character insists on being called Captain and is played by Johnny Depp? Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow is right. On Stranger Tides will star Ian McShane as what master of the ship Queen Anne's Revenge? Blackbeard. It's Blackbeard. Just say Blackbeard. I need your answer. Blackbeard. Blackbeard is right. 20 points and a sweep on the movie category. Well done. <laughs> right back to a new toss up for our players. This was the surname of the top Canadian ace of World War I and the surname of Kristen Bell's character L on Heroes. 
This word also names the chess piece that must stay on the same color. Jackson Christian Chris. Bishop. Bishop is right because it can only move diagonally. Jackson Christian, back to you. Which polit political philosopher claimed each of the following statements? First, which political philosopher claimed in Leviathan that an absolute sovereign was necessary to prevent all out warfare? Hobbes. Hobbes. Hobbes is right. Which political philosopher claimed in the second of his two treatises on government that legitimate sovereignty must be founded on the consent of the governed? Locke. Locke. Locke is correct. Which political philosopher claimed in the social contract that sovereignty should simply follow the general will of the people? Rousseau. 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 Right. 20 points, and you swept the category. New toss-up players. He used the Acerbo Law to consolidate power and published the newspaper Il Popolo to spread his ideas. After his 1945 execution, his corpse was publicly hung upside down. The 1936 conquest of Ethiopia. Jackson Christian Kennedy. Mussolini. Mussolini was ordered by which Italian fascist dictator? Jackson Christian. It was founded by Sundiata. First, rulers called Mansas led what African empire that shares its name with the modern-day nation, home to the cities of Timbuktu and Bamanko? Answer, please. Ghana? Not Ghana. No, this time it was Mali, the empire of Mali, the republic of Mali now. Uh, tough one there. Finally got a tough one that the players couldn't handle. But look at that. We're at halftime in our game in a very, very, very tight match in our grand championship game. Okemos with a 10-point lead. We'll play the second half in just a moment. Quizbusters would not be possible without the support of our underwriters. And we're going to hear from some of them right now. Hi, I'm Glenn Brew, Assistant Director of Admissions at Michigan State University. On behalf of Michigan State, I'd like to congratulate our division champions this season, as well as to recognize WKAR for a terrific year of producing Quizbusters. Michigan State University is proud to offer $5,000 scholarships to four members from each of the championship teams this year to recognize not only their efforts during the season, but also to encourage them to consider Michigan State as their first choice collegiate institution. Go Green! On behalf of everyone at Consumers Energy, congratulations to all of the teams that have participated in this year's exciting competition. It is an honor and a privilege for us to support Quizbusters and the bright young men and women we have seen on this program. Academic excellence deserves to be recognized and celebrated, and we are grateful to have been a part of this year's successful season. The Michigan Education Association is proud to sponsor Quizbusters. It's a great example of the wonderful things going on in our schools, challenging students, engaging their minds, and preparing them for future success. The 155,000 teachers and other union members of the MEA are pleased to support this program and congratulate this year's champion. Right, we thank our underwriters for their support of this program now in the 22nd year. Some of them are here tonight watching this terrific game between two fine championship teams. And once again, I want to stress, both teams are already champions. We're having fun right now. Second half of play, pop quiz waiting halfway through. The lightning round will end things. We've got a special video bonus up for grabs on the next toss-up. And here it comes, players. The wide band gap limit for these materials is about four electron volts, and elevation from their valence bands is helped by N-type or P-type doping. Germanium, uh, Okamus Mayank. Electron. I'm sorry, that's not what I'm looking for. Jackson Christian, I'll continue. Remember, you cannot confer on a toss-up. Geranium and silicon are what type of diode material that allows electrons to flow a bit more easily than in an insulator? Kennedy. Semiconductor. Semiconductor specifically is exactly right. Jackson Christian, you have the video bonus, and you could take the lead on this. First question on the monitor, you know all of that. Very special guest for you in the question today. Ken Burns is no stranger to public television, uh, Civil War, baseball, documentaries like that. Documentarian Ken Burns has question number one for you. 
First, as a graduate of a Michigan high school, I take extra pleasure in congratulating both teams on winning your respective divisions. Here's the grand championship video question. My most recent film for PBS was The National Parks, America's Best Idea. An alphabetical list of America's national parks would run from Acadia in Maine to what national park located in Utah? Zion. Zion is right. Second question, what national park would come just before Zion in an alphabetical list? Yosemite. Yosemite is right, not Yellowstone. We might have tricked you with that one. Question three, the only national park in an urban area and the smallest national park by area is the only national park in the state of Arkansas. Name it. Little Rock National Park. Not Little Rock National Park. Always good to take a stab at it. Hot Springs is what it's called. Hot Springs National Park. 20 points on your bonus. Over 200 you go. We're to a new toss-up players. This character who became king of Aquilonia during the Hyborian Age first appeared in the Phoenix or on the Sword. The Phoenix on the Sword. He worships Crom, C-R-O-M, and strives to drive his enemies before him and hear the lamentation of their women. Name this barbarian created by Robert E. Howard. Jackson Christian Kennedy. Conan the Barbarian? It's Conan, but that's perfectly acceptable. You're absolutely right. Ten points for that one. Jackson Christian, back to you. December 2010 and January 2011 protests led an Islamic president to step down after 23 years of power. First, name the North African country that borders Algeria and Libya in which that Jasmine revolution occurred. Tunisia. Tunisia. Tunisia is right. The protests began after street vendor Mohamed Bouazizi committed suicide in what fashion on December 17th? He set himself on fire, I think. Yeah. Setting himself on fire. Self-immolation. Yes, that's right. For, for 20. Name that president who cemented his reputation for corruption by taking 1.5 tons of gold bullion with him when he fled the country. I need an answer. Grant? No. Ben Ali. Zin El Abedin Ben Ali. 20 points on your bonus. We're all ready to our second pop quiz one on one action. This will be key. Four letters this time around, players. The letters S T R O. Four letters makes things easier, makes things challenging, too. S T R O begins all correct answers. Stefan Jackson Christian, Cody Okamas. A single complete movement of an oar or of a golf swing. Stefan. Stroke. A stroke, that's right. Next. A beef dish sauteed in uh, Stefan. Stromboli. No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Cody, a beef dish sauteed in onions and cooked in a sauce of sour cream and seasonings. Go ahead. Stroganoff. Stroganoff, beef stroganoff, that's right. Finally. Having or showing great physical power. Cody. Strong. Strong is the right word. Katie Jackson Christian, Mayank Okamas. To walk leisurely. Katie. Strut. No, I'm sorry, that's a wrong answer. Mayank, to walk leisurely. Go ahead. Stroll. To stroll, S-T-R-O, stroll, that's right. Next. A device that creates a pulsating light effect for theatrical, Mayank. Strobe light. Strobe light, stroboscope, that's right. Finally. A sudden loss of brain function caused by a, Katie. Stroke. A stroke. Yeah, that's right, for 10 points. We go to Chris now, Jackson Christian, David Okamas. The unusual first name of the presidential candidate and longtime South Carolina senator who died in 2003 at the age of 100. David. Strom. Strom Thurmond. That's exactly right. Next. The hyphenated term meaning to bully or coerce by threats. David. Strong arm. To strong arm. That's right. Finally, the metallic element with atomic number, David. Strontium. Strontium. Atomic number 38. He didn't even need that. Kennedy, Jackson Christian, Laura Okamas. In cellular biology, the supporting framework or matrix of a cell. That's called the stroma, S-T-R-O-M-A. Next, the animated masked wrestler who responds to emails on the popular flash animation website, homestarrunner.com. A few kids are grinning. They're familiar with Strong Bad is his name. Final question for Kennedy and Laura. 
A wheeled device pushed by a parent or other guardian. Kennedy. Stroller. A stroller is a baby stroller carrying a small infant. That's right. That's the, that's the quiz. And the next time we hear the fanfare, it'll be the lightning rounds. Right now, a 10-point lead for Jackson Christian as we have a new toss-up for all players. This mountain range contains glaciers in the Argelles Gazost Valley near Lourdes, and its highest peaks are Mont Jackson Christian Kennedy. The Alps. It's not the Alps. No, I'm sorry. I'll continue for Okemos. Do not confer. Uh, its highest peaks are Mont Perdido, or Lost Mountain, Posets, and Pico de Aneta. The Basque people live at the western end of what mountain range on the border of Spain and France? Laura. The Pyrenees. Pyrenees is the right answer, and it goes to Okemos. Okemos, this hormone is synthesized in the pancreas's islets of Langerhans. First name this hormone that causes cells of the body to take up glucose, and that is absent in people suffering from diabetes. Insulin. Insulin is right. Insulin release is triggered in part by what process in which glucose is broken down for energy and converted into pyruvate? Glycolysis. Glycolysis is right. Insulin, in, insulin inhibits what process by which the body creates new molecules of glucose from sources such as lactate? And I need your answer. <laughs> Glucose synthesis. Gluconeogenesis is what it's called. 20 points on your bonus. That is your lead. New toss-up players. The ancient Greeks called this type of wordplay crab writing, but its English name comes from other Greek words, Greek roots meaning running back again. Never odd or even, and a man, a plan, a canal. That's Jackson Christian Kennedy. Palindrome. Was the first one to figure out those are palindromes. That's right, Jackson Christian to you. He wrote about a hapless schoolmaster named Ichabod Crane in The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. First name this 19th century American author who used the pseudonym Dietrich Knickerbocker to write his A History of New York. Irving. Irving is right. What Irving title character misses out on the entire American Revolution due to being asleep? Rip Van Winkle. Van Winkle. Rip Van Winkle. Rip Van Winkle is right. Irving's non-fictional works include a five-volume biography of what president, who was also the subject of a notorious book by Parsons Weems, W-E-E-M-S. Washington. Washington. Washington is right. 20 points in a sweep. You got it, the other one. Time for at least one more toss up, players. We're back in with this. The 15th of September Legion was an early example of this group whose funding was banned by the Boland Amendment. Oliver North planned to sell missiles to support what opponents of the Sandinistas? The Okemos Laura. The Contras. The Contras were the opponents of the Sandinistas, the Nicaraguan rebels. Uh, Okemos named these geographical features of Africa. First, the Serengeti is an example of what grassland ecosystem that features scattered trees? Savannah. Savannah is right. The name of this largely red sand desert of Botswana and Namibia means a waterless place. Kalahari. I think it's the Kalahari. What is it? And I need your answer. Kalahari. Kalahari is right. This word from the Afrikaans for field is often used as a catch-all term for grasslands and scrublands in South Africa. Um. And I need your answer. Bush, not Bush, Veld, V-E-L-D, or sometimes T on the end of the. We are going to the lightning round, and the audience is giggling nervously because they see the same thing I do, and you're about to see if you hadn't seen already. We are going into our grand championship lightning round with the game tied at 320 points. I don't need to remind the players, but I will anyway. You're going to score 10 points for a correct answer. When you give me a wrong answer in the lightning round, I take 10 points off your score and move to the next question. We are tied at 320. For the Grand Championship, 60 seconds on the clock. The lightning round begins now. What is the regal name for the largest variety of penguins? 
Laura. Emperor penguin. Right. What four-letter word describes the hard, compact, fossilized remains of vegetation? Millions. Kennedy. Cold. Right. What is the name of the winged horse in Greek? My Pegasus. Right. The Canadian flag bears a leaf. Chris. Maple leaf. Right. How many ounces of liquid are there in a standard can of soda? Laura. Twelve. Right. What state borders California to the north? David. Oregon. Right. What is the capital of Puerto Rico? Laura. San Juan. Right. Who created the fantasy world of Narnia in the... Stefan. C.S. Lewis. Right. What planet is named for the king of the gods in Roman? Mayan. Jupiter. Right. In geometry, what is the word for the curved part of a circle between any two points? Mayan. Arc. Right. What arm of the Magian... Uh, of the, excuse me. Next question. Who is responsible for such Renaissance statues as David and the... Kennedy. Michelangelo. Right. With what musical instrument would you associate Yo-Yo Ma? Kennedy. Cello. Right. The duodenum connects the stomach to what part? David. Thanks. I'm sorry that's the wrong answer. You go down by 10, but it does not matter. By 10 points, Okamus wins our grand championship game. That was spectacular. That was absolutely spectacular by both of our teams. As I told you, everybody's a champion here. That last question, the duodenum connects the stomach to what part of the body? The small intestine. Larynx is somewhere else entirely. I believe everything else was answered correctly. If not, we'll sort it all out. Rich is saying absolutely that was the case. We could not have ended on a better game, a fantastic contest by both of our teams. And that's it for our 22nd season here on WKAR. We're going to pass out some well-deserved trophies to these teams. You'll be watching reruns throughout the season, and hey, watch our website wkar.org. Be aware of QB Junior right around the corner. That'll be a lot of fun, too. For all of us here, especially producer Mike Mahalis and director Ken Murley, I'm Matt Ottinger. Thank you so much and enjoy. Production of Quizbusters is made possible in part by Consumers Energy, building Michigan's future by supporting excellence in education. Consumers Energy, count on us by the Michigan Education Association and its 160,000 members, advocating for a world-class public education that ensures a bright future for Michigan students and economy. Online at mea.org. And by viewers like you. Book scholarship awards are provided by SBS, the student bookstore, located at 421 East Grand River Avenue in East Lansing. Become a QuizBusters fan at Facebook.com. For more information about QuizBusters or any of WKAR's locally produced series or specials, visit our website, WKAR.org.